Hey everyone, this is Dhruveen and in this session we are going to talk about how we can add zoom slider on the axis in Power BI. So now, let's get started. This is the new feature that has been rolled out with the November 2020 Power BI desktop update. So make sure that you update your Power BI desktop with the latest version of November 2020. Now, first of all, let me talk about the business scenario and let me talk about how this zoom slider help us a lot in report development process. Consider this particular graph. This graph is representing the COVID confirmed cases by its date. Now here you can see that this is my timeline and this is the number of confirmed cases. Now what if, if I want to examine a smaller range of the data from my chart. So I need to use some slicer and by that way I can examine that particular range of data. Now with the help of zoom sliders, report creators and consumer can easily examine smaller range of the data with the help of sliders available on the axis. They do not need to use any additional filter. Now let me show you how we can add the filters on the axis. First of all, select your visualization. Go to the format pen. Then here you will be having an option zoom slider. If you are not able to see this option here, meaning you haven't uploaded your Power BI desktop with the latest version of November 2020. Now let's turn on this feature. So this will automatically add zoom sliders on X and Y axis. Now let's expand this property. You can also, con uh, you can also customize this option manually. You can turn off or turn on this option from here. Now let me explain you this feature in detail. Now let's say for an example, I want to examine smaller range of these cases from August to September month. So what I will do is I will just drag this range from here and I will just zoom a little bit. So that will show me the August data over here. Now whenever I hover over it, it will show me that particular data over to me. One more thing, here we have two additional property as well, slider labels and slider tooltip. Now let's say if I enable slider label, what happened here is, let me just turn it on. It will show me the entire axis range to me over here. And same way, if I turn on slider tooltip, what happened here is whenever I'm dragging this particular range, it will show me the tooltip. Here you can see that whenever I am zooming a little bit, it will show me July 2020 over here. Now whenever I am zooming a little bit more, it will turn to August 2020 and more. So we will understand that at which data point we reached over there. Same way, we can also zoom in and zoom out our y-axis as well. You can see that slider tooltip as well. So this is how you can easily examine a smaller range of the data without using any additional filter on your page. Now I want to tell you a few important things about this zoom slider. The zoom state of your visual will also be saved when you save and publish your report. If you have published this report with this particular zoom level, they will be able to see that zoom level in your published version of the report. So make sure that you will set the correct zoom level before publishing your report. Second important thing, let me show you some other important example. This is one more report. Now let's say for an example, at this moment, in this particular x-axis, I have group information. And on y-axis, I have the number of participants information. So at this moment, this particular thing is something which is supported only for the numerical or date range data type. So let's say for an example, we just wanted to zoom in a little bit, so we just uh, zoom in or zoom out the things from here. One important thing as well, like let's say for an example, if you are using this type of li line and cluster column chart, what happened here is it will show you a additional property secondary y axis. So if you just want to zoom in and zoom out your line from here, you just need to turn out turn on this feature. So make sure about this thing. At this moment, this zoom slider property is something which is supported on first 12 chart of your visualization pen, meaning your stack bar chart and column chart, your clustered bar chart and column chart, your 100% stack bar chart and column chart, 
लाइन चार्ट एरिया चार्ट स्टैक्ड एरिया चार्ट लाइन एंड स्टैक कॉलम चार्ट लाइन एंड क्लस्टर कॉलम चार्ट एंड रिबन चार्ट एट दिस मोमेंट दिस ट्वेल्व विजुअलाइजेशन आर सपोर्टेड विथ जूम स्लाइडर्स सो दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ द जूम स्लाइडर्स दैट रिसेंटली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड आई पर्सनली लव दिस फीचर अ लॉट दिस हेल्प्स अ लॉट टू अवर क्रिएटर्स एंड कंज्यूमर टू इजिली एग्जामिन अ स्मॉलर रेंज ऑफ डेटा विदाउट यूजिंग एनी एडिशनल फिल्टर इज एंड दैट अमेजिंग इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक यू कैन एड योर क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू हैव ए रिक्वेस्ट फॉर एनी अदर पावर प्लेटफॉर्म वीडियो जस्ट एड योर रिक्वेस्ट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन वेन एवर आई विल गेट अ चांस आई विल मेक अ वीडियो फॉर अ दैट If you really like this video make sure you hit thumbs up and share the video with your friends and colleagues If you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel Stay tuned with me on Facebook LinkedIn Twitter podcast If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel regarding my new videos click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos on your WhatsApp number If you wish to listen different podcast about power platform just click on this link it will be redirecting you to my podcast home page where you can listen different power platform related podcast on different podcast platform like apple podcast google podcast and lots more stay tuned with me this is thruvin signing off have a great day goodbye